Yeah, it was pretty easy. She was losing on me. Not easy, but I got it. Got a PR. Remember the bar and the whole apparatus weighs 57 pounds? There you go. Now, typically, I don't film quite like this with my phone, but that's what I'm using today. Now, what you've seen on that Smith Machine squat was not pretty, but I wanted to go up and see what I could do at 417 pounds. Now, of course, the weight is weird because of the carriage in that bar, way different than just a standard, you know, Olympic bar. So, the weight uh, percentage is kind of strange, but. I mean, I handled it. I didn't feel like I really strained my back or my neck too bad, oddly enough. And uh, the last uh, max that I did on that was 407. And this was 417. And I went ahead and did two sets of them. They weren't pretty. Uh, I needed, I had to work my way with my hands. Um, it, it just hurts my shoulders too bad, trying to reach back for that bar. And that's why it just gets really awkward. So, Squats are going to be my, my, uh, whatever word I'm looking for, my Achilles, I don't know what I'm looking for, you know what word I'm looking for. So eventually I'm going to get a safety squat bar, that's the bar with the handles on it. I'm either going to buy one or I'm going to have a friend weld some handles on to one of my bars and I just get some pads for it. Because, you know, just trying to do that with the bar and even my little, let me show you that. For those that don't know, my vice grips that I have on there, you know, that's to help me with the grip. But even that's not really helping. Uh, it's just, it's too close in and my shoulders are just that bad. So... I'm not gonna go up any heavier than what I just did and I'll, I may never do that again until I can get a bar like that. That's just, that's a lot of pressure on me uh, and trying to, and I'm stressing and straining trying to get that hook back up there. And so, you know, I'm proud of what I did, proud of what I got and, you know, if my shoulders weren't booger, boogered up, I wouldn't worry about my back as much as my shoulders, but, you know, you gotta have shoulders to build a, to do a squat properly. Anyway, uh, you see what I did on the hack press there? That's the most weight I've ever done on it. Now, you know, I went and got that new rack and some plates and a couple of bars and all that a couple weeks ago. So I'm actually able to go up heavier on uh, everything. So, and that includes the hack press. And I had the, uh, the shoe horn, the shoe horns, <laughs> and I had the weight horns uh, maxed out at a 570 uh, 
Now, if I had more 45s, I'd be okay. Or if I had a couple 100 pound plates or something, that'd be nice. Whew. Uh, supposedly the max for that machine is 700. And I'd probably say that's about right. It's not, you know, it's not super industrial strength, you know. It's for home use, but it's for everyday use, and it's a it's a pretty solid machine. It does its job. Anyway, guys, I gotta go get my food. My legs are absolutely destroyed. I'll put the uh, workout in here that I did. I killed it with that 570. Uh, I did, I think, five sets, eight reps each. I stuck to eight reps instead of going for ten, just to try and give myself enough energy and wind to be able to get out that many sets, you know? So... But it was rough. Felt pretty good though. I did it. So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this weird kind of little video on my leg day. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. Where every week we're gonna keep pushing it and trying to break the limits that we put on ourselves, guys. Get up, get out, get ready, do it to it. Inspire someone today along your way, including yourself, because you matter more than anyone else. We'll see y'all later on the Body Beat Down. Bye. Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it.